Hi everyone, I'm Aditya Thakur. In this video, we are going to see how can you create Firebase push notifications using a Node.js server. Uh, under the hood, they would be using FCM, Firebase, Cloud Messaging, and uh, we'll trigger this using a Node.js server. So we were recently asked on our community Discord. So we have a Discord. If you aren't a part of it, you should maybe consider joining it. So we recently asked a question like, uh, how can we make automatic push notifications in our Flutter app? And also, can it be done without you know upgrading to the Blaze plan? So uh, generally, if I were to do it, or like recently I worked on a project that required me to add push notifications, I did it using Firebase Cloud Functions. But for that, you need like credit card information that you have to put in, have a Cloud Function run that would send out notifications. But you can also do it on the Spark plan. So like, let's say it's for a smaller project uh, or you're just testing something out. So you can create a Node.js server, uh, which would have admin permission. And uh, what I have done in this example is create like a post request to it. And then uh, the Node.js server would trigger a not notification that would be sent out and shown inside your application. So let's do that. Let's build that today. Okay. So this is uh, the Flutter application that I have created for this particular tutorial. There are two things that I have done already. One is setting up Firebase. So if you do not know how to set up Firebase, I have a video on that. You can watch that using the I button. It should be somewhere on the top. And after you're done setting up Firebase, what we need to do is also add like another package which is this firebase messaging so you can run the command flutter pub add firebase messaging and it would add that package to your pubspec.yaml so we only have these two like the core and core is required to set up firebase and then we have the messaging package once we are done with that like i only have a single file uh, what i am doing is uh, i am handling background messages so even if I close my application, I should be able to see the notification. Uh, it does not do much like the main function has nothing in it. Uh, inside this, we only do like the Firebase setup and this is the FCM token. So every device like um, has a token. Uh, generally, if you have, if like I want to send out a notification to my mobile device, I can, you know, take the FCM token of this device, put it on the Firebase console and send a notification. So that is like the manual way. So I'm just printing out the FCM token here and on the main app, like which is the default widget uh, that was there, I am just showing a text button. So the text button also doesn't have anything in it. It just says try post and all that. So this is the simple code, nothing much to do in it, except like Firebase setup and Firebase messaging, uh, the background messaging, this part might be new. Other than this, nothing else is there uh, inside this application. We need a Firebase project that we would be using. Uh, what would happen is like we'll set up Firebase server SDK. So you can also uh, check out the documentation, Firebase server SDK how can you add firebase admin to your server uh firebase admin supports like supports different languages so there's a uh, javascript node.js java python go and c sharp so let us for our particular use case we'll create it using node.js um we'll send a post request to this node.js server which will then communicate into firebase and for that it needs to be an admin so we'll start with that first step is that you have node.js on your system. So you can go over to download node.js depending on uh, the operating system you have. You can download an installer and set it up. It should be easy. Next, uh, we can open up the terminal and I'll zoom in a bit. We'll create a new directory. So mkdir notif. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I can call this project either notif or notify. And once I have this folder, I can navigate to it. Once we are inside this folder, I need to run the command npm init to initialize like a node.js um, project. 
notify description you can give it some keywords author and you can hit enter uh, to finish this next we can open this up in vs code so right now we have notif open here and we can return to firebase now what we need to do is like we need to go over to the project settings go down to service account and here uh, we'll see the necessary steps to add like firebase admin sdk to node.js now we can inside this node.js project create index.js file because during setup that's what we named it so we named here index.js so you can create that once we have added this we need to generate a new private key and we can hit generate key and it should download a json file for us so we can take this json and paste it here so we have pasted the json file here and now uh, if you go back to the documentation itself add firebase admin um, you can go down to send firebase cloud messaging messages here and i'll also put all these links uh, in the description for you to see and what you'll see here is there is another page called authorize send a request so when we want to you know send out a message we need to authorize it um, for that we have like we need to add the credential so we have already added this json file but the path of this file needs to be added uh, as a environment variable which would be called google application credential and that way like you know it will authorize your request and it will be able to process it so for like if you are on mac or linux you can simply run this command to add it to the environment variables so i'll paste it here and i'll take this file copy path replace the path here <coughs> So this is the complete path and I'm going to open up the terminal here, run this command. So once I run that command, what would happen is now uh, this Google application credentials variable environment variable would be set to this path. That way, when I run this particular application, it would know like where to get this file from to, you know, initialize app. So we need this credential. If you will see here. We need that credential to like initialize application <clears throat> and this is an important step. So once you're done with this, like you are um, set up and uh, what I'll do is right now is like, I'll um, show you the server that I've actually worked on. So uh, there are a few things that, you know, you have to change here. One thing would be like, um, I'll instead use type module and I'll have to replace this with import admin from Firebase admin. All right, so I'll initialize app with the credential application default. The path that we added right here would be picked and it would, uh, you know, uh, authorize our application. So we'll add two more imports. One is uh, Firebase admin messaging and the other is express so that we can create API endpoints. One more thing I'll do is create a env file and inside this env file I can do const and add like this um, Google application credentials here equal to and, and set this to this relative path here of the service.json. Now it is not recommended that you also make this public so this has to be saved privately somewhere you do not have to make it public uh, inside your environment variables this google application credential environment variable should have the path of this file since i am new to node.js uh, like right for now for this tutorial i would just put it here add a relative path to it and use this environment variable inside like my project Next, uh, I'll run my server to listen on 3000 port and print out server started and it's done. 
and I'll also create an instance of express uh, and make it use like application JSON. The important part here would be to create a post. So when we hit dash send uh, the endpoint, it should send out a notification. So let's work on that. What we'll do is we'll create our message. So if you go over to the documentation uh, for Firebase admin messaging, let's go down to server uh, environments and send message. So this send message page has how can you send out uh, these messages using your server and it has like options to create. So we can create a message like this with some data like score and time. And we can also uh, create notifications like with a title and a body. So you have your title, you have the body uh, of the notification here. So that is what we are doing here. We have created a message which has this notification info, a title and a body. And we are also putting in the token. So this token is the FCM token of the device that I have here. What I had done was like in my Flutter app, I had printed it out, copied and pasted it here. Now, if you if you like want to send to this particular device, like for this demo, um, you can do that. But if you want to send to a device of your FCM token, like let, let us say, um, this app is in production. So what I can do is I can get that token. So received token in the request. So whenever I'll make a post, I can add some body of data to it. And that could have this FCM token. I can get that FCM token here. And instead of using like a hard coded value here, I can use that received token there. So these are like all modifications, um, which like you can do. You can take that received token, put it here and send out a notification to that. It could change and you can also send out notifications to multiple tokens. So you can have like a registration tokens list. You can do up to 500 device registration tokens. So you can send out a notification to 500 devices at once. Once we create our message, uh, we'll use get messaging that we had imported earlier to send out a message and if it successfully does, we can uh, set the response status to 200 and also send out like a response which says like successfully sent message. Uh, then lastly, if it does not, so we can catch the error, send a status of 400 and also send out the error that is happening. So that is all uh, that you need to do. What I'll do is I'll also add the code of this to like maybe a gist that you can copy from and add to your server. I wanted to quickly explain the steps with the service account, how to use that. So let us also see how it is deployed for deploying this Node.js server. Now, now you can run this locally, but you want to like send out notifications on the go. So you can deploy it on like a free service, like dashboard or render. It's very simple here. You can create a web service and uh, select the repository. So like I had this note if so I can simply hit connect and it should, you know, connect to it, like take this code, deploy it to like a private repository on GitHub, connect it here, give it a name and um, you all you have to do is like give it a name, select a server close to you. And then under build command, you will type in node, sorry, npm install and here node the name of the file that you want to run and then you can select the free tier and create a web service. So I already have one deployed like I have this notif already deployed. The code for this is available here. So I'll close this notify and show you the code here quickly. So the code for this is available here. As you can see, like I have this uh, service account here and it is almost the similar code. I'm sending out the message and that would be it. So what this means is like, let me have my device uh, open on the side here. I have my device here. I have my notif instance working here. I can open up something like postman. I have postman here, go down to my workspace. 
and hit new HTTP and here I can enter the URL so if you remember we have to hit this URL so this URL comes from here uh, where we have hosted our node.js server on the web and we have to type in send which is um, the API endpoint that we had created and we have to hit it with the post request once I do send it will send request so once I hit send I'll get uh, successfully send and on my mobile you will get that notification at the top and it says now so it was delivered just now so that is it for this tutorial now let us talk a few modifications here one thing that you can change here is like uh, we have this app dot post uh, which is our endpoint you can get not only this uh, token like the token of the device that you have to send this notification to in the message but you can also get like the title or the body of the message here maybe an image if you want to send that out once you have this data you can send out a notification very much like this and you can also maybe return a response like it was successfully sent where can it be used so if you have to like do local notification I think there are packages for that that you shouldn't be using but let us say you're building a social media app where I send out a message to someone so at the time of sign up I can save everyone's you know FCM token and when I want to send a message to someone I can take their FCM token um, from their user data and send out a particular notification to them with maybe the message that I'm sending so let us say you're building a whatsapp clone I send out a message to a friend to you maybe and I can take your FCM token I can put out a notification to it using the message inside the body and the name of the person sending so in that case it would be Aditya inside the title so I hope this tutorial helps you get started now I would have I would try to you know make this even better but I wanted to ship out this video quickly to give you like a brief idea of how this is done and hopefully you can get out there build out your own versions of this particular node.js server and if you can please do share it with me thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it uh, and please do join our discord server we have fun discussions like this uh, all the time thank you so much